Hey guys, MJ here on Nightcore Singapore. Today I'll show you the what's the difference between the new EDC27 UHI and the older EDC27 non-UHI. Is it worth the upgrade? And two very important changes that they made that addressed a lot of complaints from the guys using the original EDC27. So once you're done with the video, let me know in the comments below if it's worth the upgrade or not for you. Right. So if I do sound funny in the video because I've been down with some flu in the last couple of weeks, so apologies for that. So the most obvious upgrade are the new UHI LEDs. Right, these are made in-house by Nightcore to be smaller, brighter, cooler, and more efficient than any other LED before it. So if you look at the bezel, it doesn't have to rely on the TIR lenses like the EDC27 to help shape the beam. Right, they can make it as small as they want and as bright as they want. What that all means is the UHI version is 100 lumens brighter, which, I mean, is not visible when you compare it side by side, but the 38% longer beam distance, now that is visible. So if you look at the beam between the EDC27, right, it's more floody. Look at the 25, you can clearly see the hotspot here. Okay? So if you always wanted the EDC27 to have more of a hotspot in the beam like this, this is worth the upgrade alone. The beam pattern change is quite obvious on the new UHI LEDs. Okay? Now the next two changes is where it hits the user experience quite a bit. The proximity sensors. Now many users hated it because of how it worked on the old EDC27. When it's on high or turbo and you bring it close to an obstacle like this, right, it will dim down to 200 lumens and stay there. It won't go back to high again. Right? They did this to prevent users accidentally turning on the light in their pocket or bag, hence burning a hole through whatever it is in front of it. But it totally backfired because when the guys brought it up to, let's say, uh, tinted windows to look through it, a thousand lumens I bring up to the window, ah, it went down to 200 lumens, then I have to cycle it back up to thousand lumens, bring it back up, because ah, it went back down again. So it was really, really painful. Not only that, heavy snow was sometimes affected as well, accidentally bring it too close to a wall during use would trigger it as well. So not the most uh, effective sensor. Now on the UHI version, they have the same proximity sensor, but it only triggers when the light is off, not on. Okay, so when the light is on high or turbo, if I bring it up to my hand, you see it will no longer dim. It's no longer affected by random things in front of it during use. Only when the light is off in my pocket or bag and it accidentally turns on in high or turbo, it kicks in, okay, and it brings it down to 200 lumens, preventing any accidental burns. Can you see in action? Say it one more time. Turbo accidentally press and it dips down to 200 lumens. Now that's the way a safety sensor of an everyday carry light should work. Right, well done on Nightcore's part for listening to feedback. The last change not even mentioned in a manual is the ability to turn on the light at the brightness you want before it even turns on. So this means you can override the last used brightness memory. So half press the power button and you can cycle through 15 lumens, 65, 200, 1100. If I want this, I full press and it turns on in that. If I want 200 lumens, I just half press, cycle to 200 lumens, 200, full press and it comes on in 200 lumens. Simple. On the older EDC27, half press does nothing. Right? It only turns on in whatever mode you left it in. So if you turn it off on high, right? I turn it off, on again, it's always on high. If I turn it off on low, let's say I'm low, turn off, on again, it's always on low. Okay, so this is a nice subtle tweak to give users even greater control and light discipline. So what do you think? Are these worth the upgrade to the UHI version or just ditch the fancy LEDs and go with the EDC25? Right, let us know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.